Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious and today we're going to be making a simple fun recipe. This is going to be uh, just mini pizzas made with English muffins. You know growing up with your kids and stuff you're trying to come up with fun ideas but least expensive. I went shopping at the dollar store today and I picked up some items to make these pizzas. They actually had pizza sauce there. I was amazed. So I looked for some type of tomato thing and they had pizza sauce. So only a dollar. Um, some sourdough English muffins. I don't know if this is real cheese or not. But you can buy it at the dollar store. And of course everything's a dollar. So there's one, two, three, four, five things. I paid five dollars for these. And I saw these Vienna sausages. Who hasn't eaten a Vienna sausage? I know that I saw my parents feed us these Vienna sausages. I thought, why not? We'll just make it Genie B style. We'll put some Vienna sausage on our pizza. And they had individually sliced pepperonis. I know that they sell the same brand in the stores, but there's a lot more in them. Only a dollar. And of course, Genie B's favorite, right? Bacon. Bacon! Bacon! <laughs> we're gonna cut up all the ingredients and we're gonna smother all that stuff on to these English muffins cut in half. I do have my oven on 425 right now. I'm not a, I'm not a chef. I'm just a home cooking woman so I have no recipe that I'm following at the moment. And for that person that commented about if I was reading a recipe in the sink, absolutely. Can't remember everything when people send me stuff to cook. So I was. Need a little help memory shot, kind of older, you know, it happens. So let's get started. We're gonna cut up the bacon first. And how I do it is I take some paper towels, two paper towels, and I wrap it around the bacon on a plate. So we got some paper towels. I'm just gonna stick this bacon. I'm gonna fold these paper towels in half. Throw that bacon on that paper towel. And then I'm just gonna wrap it like so and stick it on a plate. So when I do this, it just makes less of a mess. You know, you know how you get that stuck on grime from cooking bacon in the microwave? And speaking of microwaves, my daughters, <laughs> they live in these housings for the place that they work with. They work in um, Big Sky, Montana, the biggest resort, most beautiful resort ever. But their employee housing kind of sucks. It has two beds or three beds in there. You share with roommates. And all you have is a microwave to cook it. So I'm just going to stick it on five minutes and I'm going to smell and hopefully I don't catch the microwave on fire. So while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm going to open up these little English muffins. And then I'm just going to cut these little English muffins in half. Yes, I'm using the same knife for bacon because we're going to put it in the oven. And you know, you could eat bacon raw probably. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't, but I've seen people do it. And then we're gonna put a little pizza sauce on top of them. So I'm just gonna spoon the pizza sauce onto each one of these little English muffins. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Like little pizza breads. Oh, how cute. All right, let's check that bacon. Oh, we have a broken plate. <laughs> I think it was already cracked. All right. So this may be a sign, this is really kind of funny. We've got our bacon, I'm just going to stick it on the cutting board in the sink. What? It says microwave safe on the bottom, I swear. <laughs> I guess you could use this as border around your flower garden now. You know, that's the thing about living up poor. You learn how to use everything around your house, even when it gets broken, to either, either fix something else or make it something else. And this would be excellent border around a flower garden. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna throw that away. So I'm gonna cut up this bacon a little bit more. Yep, I used this knife for raw bacon and I didn't wash it. It's not like I'm cooking up a, a raw turkey. Wow, that was like four stripes of bacon that came out as one. Okay, so as that cools, 
We're gonna open up our Vienna sausages and we're just gonna scoot the bacon to the side. Now these kind of taste like boiled hot dogs that have been, I don't know, set out in the sun for a while and they get really soft and gushy. You can put anything on your pizza. Everything I make is not an exact science. So it's usually the first one that's the hardest to get out. So that's what they look like. They look like, I don't know, uncircumcised penises. Mmm. It might even taste like them, I'm not sure. So we're just going to take these uncircumcised penises and we're going to cut them up into little slices. These little Vienna sausages. I mean, I, really, technically, my cooking show is not a kid's show because all you have to do is to go in the comments and see that it's not a kid's show. I mean, but if kids want to watch it and make the, the recipes or whatever, go for it. So I'm going to first like put a little Vienna sausage on it because we want some hot dogs for our trailer park. How about we put like just a couple on each <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of bacon with the Vienna sausages. Bacon, 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 bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Mmm. The fattiest, juiciest bacon ever. It's not the best flavor bacon, but it's dollar store bacon, so what do you expect? I think my favorite kind of bacon is applewood smoked. Get a little bacon. So this would probably be a fun college or like little kid. These are like perfect size pizzas. Like I said, you can put anything you want on them. You can make them vegetarian if you like. Although I don't know if English muffins count as something vegetarian. I don't know the diet. But look at these little pepperonis. Hey, it's almost big enough. You could go like that. And then they'd be pepperoni pasties. Now we'll just put pepperoni on the ones that just have bacon. So it looks like about five little pepperonis fit on top. Oh, okay, that works. All right, so this is what they look like before cheese. All right, so this one is like a pasteurized, pros okay, it says cheddar style shreds, but pasteurized processed topping. I'm not exactly sure what that means but was it like laid in the middle of a field and the cow like did a thing on it? I don't know. So I'm just sticking some of this cheese on all of these. Maybe I should shove them in there. So that's what the pan looks like. And of course that's probably gonna melt all over the pan and stick and my producer is gonna hate me, but we're doing it. <laughs> So there is an English muffin and other stuff under there somewhere because I like pizza that has lots of cheese. All right. And everybody always asks me how long. So I'm gonna look at the time now. It's 2.08. I'm gonna wait until I smell them and then I'm gonna come in and check on them because I cook with my nose. Not by the time. Probably should have a timer, but I don't use it very often. Right, and now we just wait. All it looks like typical, you know, the cheese that you buy from the dollar store doesn't really melt, but it's gotten a golden brown crisp on the top. And they look like they're done. So I'm just gonna like, so this one is the, um, I'm just gonna cut it in half. And we're gonna try them. They are smoking hot. Look at how good that little pizza cutter worked and it was just for these little items. So we've got our uncircumcised penis ones right here and the pepperoni and bacon ones right here. We're gonna try this Louisiana hot sauce. The outside of the English muffin is obviously crispy. The cheese is kind of crispy on top, kind of falling off. All right, here we go. I like how the pizza sauce like soaked into the bread. 
can kind of see it on here. It is an awesome recipe to try with your kids. They can make their own, put them around the table, give them all the ingredients that they can pick. Really simple, easy to make. The crust holds everything in and they're like bite-sized pizzas. Um, of course, like always, I ask you to like my YouTube channel, share me, catch up with me on Facebook, and of course, leave a comment. I accept all good and bad comments. And you know what? It's not a big deal. And as always, I thank you for watching Jeannie Be Delicious on Trailer Park Cooking. Join us next time for another fabulous recipe.